stuck in, stuck in Vermont. I know my father used to say when we were growing up that milking the cows twice a day was what he did before he started work and after he got done. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and we're here at the bottom of the state in Whitingham, Vermont, at the Course Farm. Dad says that if there was one day of the year that people should see the leaves in Vermont, it's September 25th, at least around here, because they're brilliant. I'm here because my friend Abby <laughs> is a sixth generation Course Farmer. That's right. Her dad, Leon, he's the fifth generation. Her son, Eli, he's the seventh generation. Try and keep all that straight. Here's the seventh generation, baby. <laughs> you don't see those numbers very often, so I guess it's pretty kind of crazy that we're still all here. I'm Leon Course. I'm a dairy farmer on a farm that's been in my family for five generations, which is since 1868. We milk between 50 and 60 cows on a farm that's at a 2,000 foot elevation. I think it's got to be something in your blood or the air. I'm addicted to the air here. We are a certified organic dairy and this farm is well suited to organics because grass is the thing that we grow the best. So our milk physically goes to Stonyfield in Londonderry, New Hampshire to make yogurt. But we're an Organic Valley member, we're an Agrimark member, we have multiple layers here. There really isn't a time where there's not something to be done. I go to the barn in the summer, I get out of bed at 4, and in the winter as early as 3.30. On the good days, I'm done at 6 o'clock at night. There are certainly lots of times during the year that I'm not done until 7 or 7.30 or sometimes 8. I don't consider what I do work. It's part of my daily life. He, for me, is so the heart behind everything that goes on here. His love for it is, is intoxicating almost. Maybe the lawn needs mowing or maybe the house needs painting or whatever. But if it's time to milk the cows, that's what you better be doing. I tell people I actually fell in love with the farm before I fell in love with him. I really just loved the land and then grew to love the man, I guess you could say. Jim's out! Out! I am the bookkeeper. Well, a farmer can always use a good bookkeeper for a wife. You can't buy an office view like that. The view that I can see out my office window, if you will. It's work, but it's work that I enjoy. I love being there. There have always been farmers' daughters, but historically they would have been married off, you know, to some other farmer's son or something. There was women's work and men's work. <laughs> Most of the women's work was connected to the house. You need a good cowboy down there. And I said to him, no, we don't, John. We already have a good cowgirl down there. And she was down there getting the cows. And I've never been happier, which is crazy because I swore forever and ever and ever, as everybody else will testify to, that I would never come back to the farm. And here I am. Huh. I love being outside. I even have gotten so that even in the dead of winter, when it's you know below freezing and things like that, I still love that I can come to work and come home and I feel alive. The number of farms in this town went, dairy farms went from nine to three. Because we live in an area where farms are few and far between and have become much fewer in my lifetime. The state of Vermont has to come to the realization that dairy farming is much more important to Vermont than just what it brings in as dairy farming income because a large part of our tourism is dependent on Vermont looking like it does. And dairy farming is a very key part of that. Someone asked me recently what we'll do when we retire, and I said, I, I don't see us fully retiring any time ever, maybe. I told all of our children when they were in their teens that what they did with their life was entirely up to them. I didn't want them to feel pressured to be here on the farm, but I did want them to be able to tell me in 20 years that they loved what they did. 
I love working with my parents and my dad, and I love the stories he can tell me while we work and all the crazy stuff he keeps in his head. You know, I'm not sure that without him it would be the same for me. I think if, if there would be a big piece missing. I don't want my children to be in the half of American society who dreads getting up and going to work in the morning because I have never been in that half and I don't want them to be in that half. In this era of disappearing Vermont dairy farms, it's nice to see a multi-generational Vermont dairy farm going strong. We'll get segment with you again real soon. I'd like to think it would continue in some capacity. Who knows what that will be? Are you going to be a farmer? you be a good farmer. Are you going to be a good little farm boy? That's what his dad says. He's like, hmm, cows or nails?